Who goes there? I know you are there. I can sense you. Come out. Hmm. You are not of my clan. Who are you? I see. What are you doing here? No one is supposed to know about this place. Full of the feathers, huh? Ah, <sighs> sort of shame that I am molting. Why? It makes it easier for people to find me. No, that was not a jab at you. I'm simply stressed. I suppose. Hmm? My name. That is... not important. Am I of the Kruoth clan? Why do you want to know? Why are... Mm. Well... That... is a dead giveaway, now isn't it? Oh, yes, I am a part of the Kruoth clan. No, I don't plan on capturing you and ripping your limbs off one by one. The avian clans are not as savage as you humans tend to think they are. Hmm? You knew that. What do you mean? You are an ambassador. For a human kingdom. The Vortex Kingdom. Ah, I see. So you must have experience with us. Hmm. So they, they did arrive today. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. So, what are you here for? Meeting the crew of the royal family. Hmm. I see. For what purpose? Official business you cannot talk about. I see. Hmm? My wings. What about them? <sighs> yes, there are not many avians with black wings. It is typical for nobles to have them as they are, well, rare, and nobles are known to have rare and beautiful things, so only made sense, right? Am I a noble? I'll leave that for you to find out. <laughs> well, I suppose I could give you a small hint as to who I am, if you really want to know. <laughs> all right, all right. My name is Princess Onith Kruoth. <laughs> Don't look so shocked, human. Did you truly not piece it together? Surely you are smarter than that. I know you humans pride yourself on your intelligence. <laughs> Aw, don't look so embarrassed now. Not everyone can have genius level intelligence. <laughs> but, yes. I am Princess Onith. But you may just call me Onith. I hate formalities. It is a pleasure to meet you as well, young ambassador. I hope you enjoy your stay here. <laughs> yes, I am just like a normal person. What did you expect? Well, human royals do tend to be more proud of their status. As my father would say, you must be grateful for your privilege, but know you are not above everyone. Human royalty tends to be a bit more on the entitled side. <laughs> Judging by your face, you agree. I mean... They make their clothing out of spun gold and slivers of diamonds. 
they will only eat food that has been sent through about 30 different tests for quality, and will only drink the finest of wines and ales. Genuinely, I can understand the eye for quality, but having a temper tantrum for not getting your overly high standard met is childish. No wonder no one likes the Vortex Kingdom. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Having to live with those people. I'd lose my sanity. <laughs> you know, it's nice to talk to someone without being called your highness every 20 seconds. Thank you. Your Highness, your father has been looking for you for ages. You must return at once. <sighs> and that is my royal advisor. I suppose it is time for me to leave. It was a pleasure meeting you, Ambassador. I hope to see you again. Your Highness, we cannot keep your father waiting. We need to leave immediately. I'm coming, Zeraith. Gods above, learn some patience. Have a wonderful day, Ambassador. You cannot keep running off like that. Well, when you live the life I live, you need a break once in a while. How are the preparations for the ball? The preparations have been completed. Good. Ah. <sighs> Princess, for the sake of everyone, you need to do this. I know, Zeraith. I know. <laughs>